Hello, this is Chef and Nick here at Sun Valley Auto Club. In front of us is a 1999 Porsche 911 uh, Cabriolet. This is the first year of the 996. This is a one owner, 72,000 miles and some change on the odometer. 3.4 uh, flat six cylinder engine with the six speed manual transmission. This one has its uh, uh, factory paint on it. It is beautiful and it's ocean blue is the name of that paint. Yeah, ocean blue metallic. The uh, does come with a hard top because in 99 they all came with hard tops. After 99 it became an option to go uh, hard top or not. So it seems like a lot of people opted out of that which makes sense with the power convertible top. But having the hard top really makes this into a uh, solid three season car. Easy to go on. We'll show you the soft top operation as well. Yeah, fabric's really good condition. And the paint, just like the rest of the car, is is nice and tight as well. So that's the purpose of this video, is to really show you the condition of this uh, Porsche. And overall, you know, very stunning condition. It is a 99, and we'll point out some flaws, you know, here or there. You do have the, the turbo, uh, ask wheels on there Leather seats Did you look Nick was those, are those heated seats? I'm not sure. I think they might be Let's Take a look at that. We printed out all the option codes. I think we left it on the printer, but <laughs> we'll, we'll thump our way through it and put that on Online, but this is a one uh, one owner car It did start out its life in California and then Nick you're saying when did it come up to Idaho? Uh, 2004 came up from uh, Palo Alto, California to, to Ketchum, Idaho so I've always been out west. Yeah two really good car preserving uh, climates. We do have under photos of this car as well no signs of any sort of accident paint history either on the Carfax or just the visual uh, and safety inspection so we do have the under photos of this as well and there's one little spot a couple spots on the bumper and you can see those are kind of like more garage scuffs we're probably gonna roll in about five minutes shooting the video so uh, we'll get back to you and a little scuff a little scuff right there a little paint transfer but no dents and dings no accident histories discussed so these are just phenomenally uh, fun to drive and it's the cheapest Porsche that you can buy. They have depreciated uh, the most. It's the first year of the water cool. Obviously they skyrocket up um, into the air cools uh, a year or two back from this and then they're just depreciating um, like that 2017 right behind it. You know those turbos are starting at 200 plus and then they drop down. So that's the Porsche market and they basically drop down to this level, to the 996, and then right back up to the air cooled. So a ton of value, uh, amazing car to drive, really fun to drive. You can handle all the twisties that any road could throw at it, the suspension, the engine, it's just a fun car to drive. One reason that, um, well, people don't like change, so the first, uh, first of any change uh, that Porsche does, <laughs> people don't like. But this one actually did have one um, Achilles heel to it, and it's the intermediate shaft bearing, the ISB, very well documented all over the web. Um, if that fails, you can blow your engine, and you've got an 18 or $20,000 repair. Um, it happens on, oh, it's arguable, but uh, uh, somewhere around 8% of the cars. And if it's higher, more, but that's a pretty big risk to take. So even though this one has 72,000 miles, uh, this owner never did do the ISB. So that it would be up to the next person to do. And a lot of people's questions, first question is going to be, hey, has that ISB been done? No. And it's about $3,000, which that is a reason why this whole market is, is definitely depressed a little bit. So the first thing I do is pick this up at a phenomenal deal and then just get the, the bearing replaced and then that problem goes away for the rest of your uh, ownership in the car's life. But as Nick is showing you, it's in incredibly good shape on the interior. 
Um, everything from just the steering wheel, all your user, user interface, uh, touch surfaces are bright and clear. The dash is uncracked. The paint is really good. This has been stored inside. Your door handles, the door cards, it's just all in really good shape. Power windows, and then we're looking for the heated seats, and I'd say no, Nick, to that. No heated seats? No heated seats. Ocean blue with gray, just a phenomenal color combo. Lots of black silvers, guards reds out there, very few ocean blues. And the soft top will show you easy operation. The rear window has come de lambed and so that would be your other point of uh, concern on that and we're happy to show you. But with the hard top and a convertible, this would certainly keep you dry if you got caught in the rain without your hard top, but not 100% waterproof. We'll take a look. Delamination on the back window, but all in all really good shape works really well Strong smooth engine clean bill of health Blinker, left blinker, running lights, brake lights. Our mechanic did note that the reverse lights uh, do not work. That could just be bulbs, um, but at this point, no reverse lights. All the other lights work. Yeah, and that top is. After a summer of dealing with uh, American classics, <laughs> how easy is that? Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. And the front, Nick's got good photos of that. We do have the option tag, which we decoded, and we'll put that on the, on the ride up. You've got a car cover, the windscreen, which is sets right behind the driver and passenger seats, um, and that way your, your hair's not getting blown backwards. But the spare, which is a little donut. So, well equipped. Not a big trunk, but that's that's a Porsche for you. Travel with a credit card. <laughs> That'll hold a swimsuit. Go have a good weekend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Chef and Nick here at the Auto Club, and uh, here's a close up on that on that paint. You'll see, you know, just a few few rock chips, few micro scratches here and there which should be kind of expected with a 99 but all in all as we keep saying just a beautiful car and a really inexpensive uh three season car especially with that hard top we appreciate you watching if you have any other questions if you want this in front of your house or in your garage give us a shout i'm shep 208-721-1973 or feel free to reach out to nick at 563-676-8225 thanks for watching